Hi, this is Esther Lin for MMAfighting.com, and I'd like to share some of my favorite images from UFC 174. Our week in Vancouver began with the motion capture demo featuring Carlos Condit and Josh Thompson at EA's Burnaby campus. There were lots of jokes about balls, while they showed us all how the red dots in the room, which are cameras, capture movement as Condit and Thompson hit pads. Then, UFC held the open workouts for the event on the motion capture platform. I love this room. It looks like a movie studio. Which in essence, it is. I love shooting towards the lights with the employees and press watching, photographing Rory McDonald, all lined up like extras in a film. And as usual, I tried my best to grab portraits of each fighter on the card during interviews. The lighting was harsh and contrasty, but I think I made it work. And in Bader's case, I used my own lighting. And for Woodley, I stepped back because I felt his posture on that chair made the wider shot a much better composition. When it was time to do the face-offs at the end of the interviews, the cheerful Ali Bogatina put his arm around champ Demetrius Johnson, who was visibly irritated by the gesture. Everyone was in the post-media day scrum with Dana White, and some very nice EA employees allowed me to peek behind the curtain at the capture lab to see how facial scanning is done. The next day at Wayans, Thompson and Condit returned to do a fan Q&A session and play the new EA UFC game. Thompson wanted to end the Q&A session with a personal tradition of facing off with kids in the audience. It didn't seem that there should be any animosity between Serafian and Kunimoto, but yet, after they faced off, Serafian remained glaring daggers and Kunimoto turned back around noticing that he was still being stared down and turned to Serafian to stand his ground. Then again, maybe Serafian was just admiring Kunimoto's tan and hair. Either way, I was suddenly more curious about the outcome of this bout than I had been before. One of the highlights for the crowd gathered at the Rogers Arena was the return of Andrei Arlovsky. The former UFC heavyweight champion received a warm welcome. And to close out the weigh-ins, Demetrius Johnson and Ali Bagatina faced off for the flyweight title. I really love Bagatinov raising his arms and eyes up in prayer, and that blue moving light flaring into my lens, creating this heavenly glow. It's fight night. And Canadian Jason Sago finishes his fight against Josh Shockley with only three seconds to go in the first round starting this card fast, right out of the gates. To continue the wild action, Taehyun Bong catches a head kick to deliver an overhand right to Cajun Johnson, who falls backward to the canvas. The emotion of Bong's win contrasted the silence of the crowd supporting the British Columbia native Johnson. As always, I was most looking forward to Letourneau versus Phillips, and it did not disappoint. Letourneau took a punch to the eye that immediately swelled so much. I thought she would be done, but she persevered and came back to win the second and third round to defeat Phillips, in a grand display of heart. Both fighters were given the call as late injury replacements, and they clutched their opportunity to show the world their skills in rousing fashion. Then, in another dramatic turn, underdog Kunimoto stuns and submits Serafian in the first round. I love this image. Kunimoto chilling atop the cage as if he was just lounging on a porch, celebrating his win with the dejected Serafian kneeling in front of me. Then, the anticipated bout between Arlovsky and Schaub fizzled. Arlovsky even visibly downcast with his arm raised. When the heavyweight began his interview with Joe Rogan and the crowd booed, he said, please don't boo me, quite politely, and the crowd hushed with respect to the veteran fighter. It was emotional to see Arlovsky so honest about his poor performance. I was suddenly less disappointed by the outcome. With fascinating virtuosity, 
Roy McDonald mesmerized Tyron Woodley, shutting down Woodley's offense, and it was really artful to watch. The usually aggressive Woodley seemed hypnotized by McDonald. The main event went as most predicted, but the challenger kept coming forward anyway, right into the clinch of the champ to eat knees. No matter how Bogatinov was thwarted, he fought like this, gritting his teeth despite Johnson besting him at each turn. The night would end in disappointment for the challenger. Bogatinov would walk away from the cage without unseating the king, who delivers a victory speech on the screen behind him. Demetrius Johnson keeps his title tonight. This is Esther Lin for MMAFighting.com. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in Vegas.